Hello everybody and welcome back to a Subnautica video I guess and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get yourself the multiplayer mod that came out recently I believe um, for Subnautica. Sadly this is only for PC which I'm pretty sure I'm going to specify in the title but if I forget this is kind of like a disclaimer now this only does work on PC and you only do need the first half of the tutorial which I'm going to explain now. The second half is so you can actually end up playing with me. So, if you do want to end up playing with me, like, on one of my live streams or something, stick around for the second part. And even if you're not, it is helpful to know how to set up, like, wireless play between different, like, um, different Wi-Fi networks that way you can play with your friends that are not literally inside your house. So, right after that disclaimer, let's get right into it. So, first thing you want to do is actually install the mod. So, all you do is just open Chrome in Fox or whatever, and all you do is type in Subnautica. Nitrox mod. Now, if you cannot find it, I'm still gonna have a link in the description, but it's literally this simple. It's nexusmods.com right here. You click on it, and this thing will come up. Okay, and once you're here, um, the rest is this is like the part that kind of gets a lot of people. So, what you have to do is you have to go over here, and when you try and download it right now, it says you need to down log in or sign up. So you can sign up. I'll, I'll show you how to sign up from my own account. So you go right here and you click register now. Now a lot of people do get stuck over here because it says like look lifetime premium. But if you do scroll all the way down, um, there should be just a free create account button. You click that and then you are set. Right here, you fill all this out and then you click create account. Now after you've done this, I'm just going to go back. Because I already do have an account. Okay, so once you're signed into Nexus Mods, you should see that you're signed in here with the little sign up. Do not click sign up. But all you do is just go to download not vortex manual. You click it. And it should download something. You, you don't need premium benefits. You can close this. But as you can see down here at the bottom left, I'm not sure how it looks on other ones. But basically you go to your downloads and you open the zip file that was made. And here you should see a patch notes, which just explains all the patch notes. Uh, not really important, but this is the important part, the Nitrox installer. Now, what you do is you double click it to open it. And if this comes up, just click no. And you want this Nitrox setup to come up. What you will do is you'll click next. You accept the permissions and then install the Nitrox too. Now a lot of people is like going next, next, next. It's really not that simple when it comes to this. What you have to do is you have to click change and you have to direct it to your Subnautica folder. Now, if you do not know how to do this, you want to go to your drive that has your Subnautica folder or if you just have like one hard drive or SSD or whatever, that's the most cases, I think. You will basically want to go to the drive that has your Subnautica on it or your Steam. You go to that and then you go to program files times 86. You then find your Steam folder then you go to Steam Apps, Common, and then you find Subnautica. Right here, once you're in here, you want to click OK, and then Next. Then click Install, Allow it, and then let it do its stuff. Finish. Now you can close it and start up Subnautica. It's really that simple. And you should have a multiplayer add-on. Now, what happened to me when I first tried this is that Subnautica will be loading forever or would crash instantaneously. Now, to, to what I did to solve this is that I took away the multiplayer mod, and I'll show you how to do that right after now, and then I completely deleted Subnautica and re-downloaded it. And this is a very rare glitch, but it does sometimes happen. So if any of you guys do experience this glitch, that's what you're going to have to do. But as you guys can see, multiplayer right here. Done, simple, and... Let's see, dude, this is actually my server that I have right now for my YouTube, but it's really that simple. So, I'm going to quit, and I'm going to show you guys how to delete Nitrox so you could, like, fix your game if it does crash. So, what you want to do is you just want to open the exact same file, again, the exact same file that you used to install it. Open it. No, see, that comes up. You click Next, and then there should be an option to click Remove. All you do is click remove and remove. I'm not going to remove it because I just installed it, but you go through that and it should completely remove all Nitrox from your computer and Subnautica should open without the multiplayer mod. 
Now, sometimes it does start up right as soon as you remove it, but I highly recommend completely deleting the game and re-getting it. That way the multiplayer mod, if you try and reinstall it afterwards, it does work. So I'd highly recommend that, but of course you're free to try just doing that. So, now you have Nitrox. Here comes the second part, which some people, like, um, like they don't know how to play with me. Like, they have Nitrox and so but they just don't know. Now, this is the next part on how you play with me. So all you do is just open Google again and you type in log me in Hamachi. Basically it says to connect with me without being on the same network and protecting my IP at the same time. You click it and you click download now. You go down here, open it, and you choose your preferred language. You have read and agree agreed. This one you don't need to edit. You of I like creating shortcuts on desktops. You click next. Uh, you do not need to install this. Just click install. Yep. Let it install. And there, done. Launch Hamachi. Finish. Done. Starting Hamachi. This right here is perfectly what you want to have. So once you're here, you of course want to turn on your Hamachi, and then it's going to ask you to log in or sign up. So I'll do it in your situation, sign up. All you do is create an email. Make sure to use a real email because I'm pretty sure you have to verify it. And then passwords. Well, you get password. And it's really that simple. And I'm just going to log into my ID. So as you can see, I'm logged in now, and this is how it should look like. Your light should be on. Or like this, how it should look. It should say probing, and then it should turn on. And once it's on, after it's done probing, all you have to do is click network, and click join an existing network. Now, this is how you join your friends and like the people that you want to play with. So what would be looking on your friend side would be create a new network, and then they make a network ID, they make a password, and then they share that to you. In my case, my network ID and password is this. See, that's the fish submodica or sub, actually. And then the password is actually finally, yes, here, I'll show you on a text document to show you the actual text. It is this. Finally, yes, that's the password right there to join my Hamachi thing. So you click join. And then it joins, and then you're set. Now, sadly, it is full at the moment, so the next Subnautica stream, I'm going to restart it. That way people can join in. But that's how simple it is. And one last thing you have to do is that when you join, two more things you have to do. First, if you're the one hosting the server, what you want to do is you want to open and go to your Subnautica directory. So if you don't remember, it's go to your drive, that has your Subnautica, Subnautica on it. Program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, and Subnautica. Then you want to open Subserver, and then you want to click this. Now, I'm not going to click this because it will leak my IP, so I'm not going to do that. But if you do click that twice, it's going to run everything and it's going to start the server. Your friends are not going to be able to see it. Nobody's going to be able to see it. It's just right now I'm recording, so obviously I don't want to put it on tape. But yeah, you double-click that, and then it's open. Now, for the people joining the server, if you open up Subnautica, you're going to see that it's going to ask you for an IP address. Now, this IP address, what you do is you ask the person hosting for this IP address right here. This one up here, you ask them for this IP address right up here. Okay? Make sure to not put your IP address that shows up here. This is not your IP address. Make sure to not put this one into Subnautica or so it will not work. You have to get the person hosting it to give you their thing. And then all you do is they could just click copy IPv4 address, which is the one on the left, and send it to you. And then you paste that into your Subnautica, you add server, put the host in, call it, I don't know, call it name it, I don't know, I don't know, friend server, and then you click add server, and then it would work, 
right? And that's how simple it is. And now you can play some Nautical multiplayer. Now there are a lot of bugs. I'll tell you right now, there are more, many, many bugs. But you know what? It's extraordinary how cool it is now because I've always dreamed, dreamt of multiplayer. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. And if you did not enjoy, make sure to leave a dislike and a comment because if it did not work for you, I would like to know so I could get it working for you and you could play multiplayer with your friends. Now hopefully it did work for all of you. And if you do want to play with me on my live streams, um, you don't have to subscribe, but it'd be better that way you could see when I'm live streaming. Or you could just come by quickly, play with us. I'll be quickly restarting the servers like every stream. That way new people could come in on every stream and we could play with them. So, yep, yeah, thank you for watching, and hopefully you can play multiplayer now.